man. It's like the first first video I made in a long time. Um, since that last video I made, and to speak on that one is um, I wasn't where I am now, and I'm still on a day to day journey. Um, to get to a new place. But I am taking advice, my own advice from that video and just just been putting myself first every day, um, picking me every day. And it's been working out. It's been working out. Um, but in that moment, I was sad, depressed. Um, but I think I think some of that comes with, you know, life. And what you're going through at that time, and I definitely was going through a lot at that time. A lot of decisions I had to make for myself at that time. Um, we all got to do that. And you, um, it's just whether or not you want to take the necessary steps, you know, to um, move forward. Man, these videos is just, I, mean, I don't know, man. I might be doing more. Um, I definitely was drinking and you can see in the video I was smoking in the video, but I haven't been doing that recently. And it seems like the less I do that type of stuff and, you know, the more stuff I can get accomplished, the, the, the more focused I am, um, the more, the more comfortable I am, you know, with whatever situation is going on at the moment, um, just been sober, man. Been sober. It wasn't like I was on any hard, you know, type of stuff to deal with. It's just, just focusing a lot more on myself and not really trying to, you know, have fun or, you know, enjoy myself. Is as a man, it's not really about that. And I hate to break that to the man that's watching or any man that's watching. It's really not like it's not about that. It's about, um, you know, taking care of yourself. Taking care of yourself, um, being sufficient, and um, following your purpose, man. You don't need, you know, that's what I'm learning along the way. You don't need, you don't need anybody. You don't need a person. You don't need a woman. You don't need, you know, you don't need a friend and then like that to do that. It's more of a, it's more of an internal um, type of job. And to be honest, it's probably better that way. That way you can deal with your own stuff at your own pace, at your own time. Um, I mean, I feel good, man. I've been I've been doing good. I've been proud of myself lately. Um, steps I've been taking to isolate myself from toxic situations, um, just to do the like you like you know do the growth on yourself and find out what your next step is going to be. Um, I also did some stuff today that, you know, that's probably, um, like, some people may not be happy with, but it's like, you know, you, you have to do what's best for you. You know what you need to do. You know how you want things to happen in your life. So if people are not, if people aren't making that happen or you're not seeing, seeing that happen, then you have to, you have to make a choice whether or not you want to sit in that and keep dealing with that and keep letting the same thing happen every week, every week, every week. Or if you want to start, and I mean, that's, that's not a relationship. That's life. That's, that's work. That's anything. If you see something that's not going your way and you feel like you could do something to help it and by all means do that. Don't, don't settle. Don't sit in, don't sit in, you know, and just keep letting things happen to you. And I think not at this moment, but definitely in my past, I just, you know, I just allow things to happen. I think I always said, you know, I, I got a big mouth. I always said things that probably was like, you know, uncomfortable for people to hear. Or I probably said what people were thinking or what I was thinking, but I don't think I put a lot of action toward it. So therefore, whoever was around, they didn't take it, you know, seriously because um, whatever I said, I still didn't put a lot of action towards it. But now, 
I'm isolating myself. And now I'm starting to put action toward things that I want to see happen for me, first and foremost. And if you're watching the video, if that resonates with you, then also do that. If you need to, if you need to isolate yourself to make things happen, do that. Um, make sure you're comfortable. I was in situations where I was not 100% comfortable. Make sure that you're 100% comfortable wherever you at, you know, in life. Not 50% comfortable, not 60% comfortable, 100% comfortable. Um, and I mean, just like in your day to day life, there's no reason why you should be out here, you know, you know, busting your tail, you know, working hard and, you know, being in a situation where you just not completely comfortable. Um, don't be afraid of the unknown. You know, you, maybe you, maybe you might need to go to another city, go to another state just to find that comfortability. But if that's, if that's something that you're going through, I know it's certainly something that I went through. I had to remove myself and um, just so I could clearly see what my next steps were and not be afraid and sit with, sit with the choices and not be afraid of what's coming next. And I might make more videos and you might see this pull over a lot. Like um, I just like wearing jackets when I do videos. I only got like two or three jackets. Um, right now and so it's not videos going in the same day I'm just putting it on and shooting a video um, so yeah I'm not really in you know trying to make any fashion statements with the videos that I'm doing going forward um, yeah so not really interested in any relationships right now I think I've made that clear to some people not you know looking looking to date anybody seriously and I think that was an era in my life where I was definitely you know codependent in a lot of situations when I should have been just dependent upon myself and that's that's the part of life where I'm at right now where I'm just not needing anybody and doing well I mean I've been able to do great things for a lot of people and I think it's time for me to turn that attention and that energy on myself for once in my life, I feel like. And I've been doing it lately, and I've really been enjoying it because I do have a gift, just like everybody's got a gift. But sometimes we use our gifts that God gave us to, to make other people's life better. And maybe sometimes that's not the answer. Maybe you were given that gift to make yourself better, make yourself happier, um, to take care of yourself better. Um, and sometimes, you know, I was guilty of that. Maybe somebody's watching it is guilty of that. Just using your gifts to make other people happy. Um, always been, always been something that I dealt with, but I'm coming out of that. I've been coming out of that recently and it's okay to be selfish, you know, uh, with your time, your energy, your presence. It's okay to be selfish with that. You know, just know that. Um, you don't you don't need to cry out. You don't need to cry out all the time. Um, I'm comfortable. I've always been comfortable without a crowd, but, you know, I know how to. I know how to be in one, you know. We all know how to. We all know how to conversate and, um, you know, I guess be there or whatever, but but more and more as the days go by though, you know, um, just getting stronger mentally and physically and uh, financially, you know, getting financially stronger for yourself. Um, and just wanted to give an update, you know, and just piss some things out there, make another video because I'm doing a lot better in this video than I was last video. I was doing good in that video too, but I think I was just, you know, still processing a lot of stuff. And I'm a slow processor. Um, I might be smart. Some people might, you know, think I'm smart, but it takes me a while to process um, things sometimes. But when I do process them, whether it takes a, a day, a week, a month, a year, and it really took me a year to, to process something, but it might take a week or a month sometime. But once I process 
Um, once I process it, then I know I start, I'm starts, you know, making my decisions um, pretty quickly after that. I'm not going to make the video too long. Um, definitely, like I said, focusing on myself. If you're in a similar situation, if you anything resonated with you in this video, go on your own journey. Don't be scared to go on your own journey. I mean, I've probably been afraid of that for so long. And it's deep cut trauma that I might get into in other videos, but there's reasons why um, I don't like going on solo journeys. And it's always been difficult for me and people that know me can probably put it together but um you got to do it at some point or other, other otherwise your life's you know gonna pass you by you don't know wish you did um yeah till next time on um, y'all stay strong see y'all next time shout out to alpha t fitness fitness shout out to um albino poo man man you know a lot of people that um um bandage a lot of people that I watch, man, I've been, you know, keeping up with some people that's been inspiring me and helping me on this journey. And if I left them out, I'll get them in the next video.